Good morning, everybody. I'm not making the same mistake I made yesterday. I'm freezing myself half to death. So today, we've brought in the fan heater. Yes! That should keep me nice and warm while we do some more work on the pipes. At some point today, I'm gonna to have to send Stuart across to workshop to change my argon tank. We are down to the last few PSI in there, and I want to continue to weld today, so hopefully, It'll be in early enough this morning to do that. One of the first things I have to do today is weld RJT fittings to some screw, some threaded nipples, some screw nipples, some threaded nipples like that. Look at that, lovely fit. And then that will allow me to have an RJT fitting on the plate heat exchanger. And then from there, we can come around the corner and meet up with the pump, which I also have to apply an RJT fitting to that as well. And then we will go up and connect onto the tank as and where we require it. So I'm gonna get straight into the nitty gritty. We're gonna fire up the welder and we're gonna weld. Freaking right we are. I'd like to love you every day. I'd like to love you. So uh, I actually welded these fittings up. Um, they didn't quite fit on the end of the threaded nipples. So what I had to do was insert the uh, the male RJT fitting on the inside and then I had to go in there, believe it or not, and uh, kind of weld with real long stick out on the electrode on the inside and flow it so it's a hygienic, smooth finish on the inside. The outside, as you can see, we still have the hard edge on the uh, on the fitting where I cut it. I'm not going to flow that for fear of creating any sugaring on the inside. And who cares? Frankly, it's welded and it's hygienic on the inside. The outside is only aesthetic. But look at the colours that come out: blues and golds. I did put quite a bit of heat into these bad boys, but uh, once they've had some pickling paste on them, they'll clean up nicely. And they do still screw into the sockets, so they're not misshapen, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna pop these on. Stuart's here, so I might have to just disconnect this argon for an hour whilst he goes and fetches some more, because it pretty has, pretty much has ran out. Oh boy, it's good to have some heating on in here today. It is beautiful. Oh, it's costing though, it's costing the pennies. But I'm warm. So Stuart's gone to change the argon cylinder for me. That is dead. I've literally wringed every last drop out of it. And uh, whilst he's gone, I need to find another job that I can do, which is pretty easy and quick. So I'm gonna go upstairs to the hand pulls on the bar. We have some Angram taps and some EWL taps, and the EWL taps are siphoning back out of the pint glass. 
and I think it's down to the fact that the um, non-return valves, the check valves, uh, aren't doing their job properly. So I'm going to change them out for these EWL check valves. If I could, I'd change all of the hand pumps out for Angram hand pumps. I think they are, without a doubt, the best hand pumps. But uh, I suppose it makes sense to have EWL check valves on EWL pumps. And if that doesn't solve the issue, then what I might do is piggyback two check valves. So it comes out of one and into the other, and we have check valve, check valve. So. We'll give this a whirl though first because this is the easiest option and then we'll come back down and hopefully we'll be able to do some more welding. I am however going to run out of one inch pipe very shortly so I may have to uh, cut this short and we may after all of this have to have a little piece of silicon pipe in the fold until I can get some more stainless pipe ordered. So these are the non-return valves that Robbie gave to me and actually they are kind of cool because they have a little toggle switch for cleaning your line so you don't even have to pull the hand pump and then serve in but we couldn't actually reach this where, we, where it was mounted anyway uh, so I'm not sure what's gone on with it but it was just filtering back so I swapped it out anyway should have sorted it. There we go, that's nice. I'll use some hot water. We'll rinse all these through. So if we pop them on clean, they should. Yeah. They should squirt through the hoil. And then I'll pop these into storage because it could well be. So I've done something wrong with these, and they do work perfectly. We shall see. I'm sure Rob will let me know. But I turn the gas pressure up, I turn the gas pressure down both times. And what was happening was when we pushed the hand pull back, it was sucking beer back out of your pint glass and back into the lines. So, yes. I don't quite know what happened there, my friend. Now I know everyone's going to say, why don't you just buy some teas? I will buy some teas. But I've been playing around with pipe notching. I've made myself a little pipe notching jig. And uh, I've managed to make some holes in this pipe to notch them together. Hey, look at that. You'd be able to build a rally activator with that kind of skill, wouldn't you? Can make my own bike so yeah I'm I don't have any teas at the moment and I'm honing my skills you might say so I'm just having a bit of a play around here and then once this pipe works welded and fitted into place for the brew kit I can start to chop out sections like this and replace them with actual bends but it's very rough I can already see that a lot of the pipe work that I'm doing uh, doesn't look how I'd like it to look when it's completely finished so I guess that's my excuse for being a little bit rough on this but still I think that apart from it just being off square a little bit will make quite a nice uh, welder joint when it's finished that's not bad that's not bad at all get it purged on the inside with some argon and uh, let's see how she comes out I've spent all day welding today and uh, wow, it's gone five. It's ten past five already. So I'll probably just finish this piece and then weld these uh, 
RJT fittings to them, and then I guess we'll call it a day. So that's about as far as I've got with the, the pipe work. It's beginning to take shape. I'm quite impressed how that tea's worked out, actually. Uh, like I say, we will change things out in the future for proper 90s and whatever else. I don't like that moving across here. For instance, let me walk you through it. So this pipe to feed the pump, this section, I don't like this cross beam. I'd much rather have it come in and then across and in. You know what I mean? So everything's nice and neat. And then this pipe work here, that goes that way if this valve's closed to go into the chiller. Just the camera, you'll be able to see a little bit better. I think it's probably a wee bit dark for you, like lad. Once again, for the second time. So if we close this valve, for instance, and open this one, then the hot work will be sent into the back of the plate heat exchanger and out the product outline where it can come out here it won't go that way because this valve will be closed it will go back into the recirc port at the top of the tank and then vice versa if we close that valve and open this one then the liquid will come across here it won't go backwards into the plate heat exchanger because that will be closed Instead, it will go up here and into the recirculation port once again. And then what I want to do for cleaning is uh, I want to be able to remove this section here and have that go back into the tank somehow. Uh, yeah, and then be able to back flush. I want to back flush the uh, plate heat exchanger. That might come with the mods that we do next year. For now, I can just disconnect it and do it manually if needs be. And uh, yeah, there's also part work here to be welded up. So it's a case of two 90s. And then here, one, there's one 90 there really. So another three 90s to weld up. Some more end fittings, liners, liners and nuts, that kind of jazz. I hope it all makes sense because it sort of doesn't make sense to me when I'm saying it. Uh, but that's the trouble with this kind of pipe work. It's kind of complex in getting your methodology across and it's only going to be really relevant to that particular kit. Somebody else who's got another kit might have a completely different piping matrix and it'll look ah, totally different. So this is going to be a work in progress, but it's coming on, I think it's coming on. Right, it is gone five, I'm going to wrap up, I'm going to walk home tonight actually, I fancy a walk, so uh, I'm going to throw the camera over my shoulder and we'll go for a lovely stroll, it's about a mile home, looking forward to it, we'll see you tomorrow folks.